So the first thing is I'm going to go to the courses menu and this is going to allow me to create a brand new course. And my course can be uh, uh, started from scratch or if I want to, I can base it on an existing course or template. This means then that if somebody, for instance, has created a geography template and I was teaching uh, a geography class, I could copy that particular template with all of the content um, and the setup that will be required for that class. So what I'm going to do is, is show you some ideas and then show you um, perhaps how we can also create a template at the same time. So first things first, I'm going to uh, create a, a course. So uh, I'm going to call it Geography 101, uh, mainly because I don't know very much about geography. So for me, uh, it's a 101. Now, when we land on the course, uh, we land on uh, an overview page, just as uh, Nihal was saying. Uh, and there are some onboarding tools as well. We won't go into them, but actually the onboarding tools will allow you to help set up the course. The majority of your courses will benefit from doing exactly that, just landing here, because you'll be able to add calendar events for your students, you'll be able to uh, write announcements to them, and you can add tasks from the green bar sorry, the green button on the top right straight away. So for most, most um, uh, courses, actually this particular approach is, is probably the most valuable one. So we're gonna cover courses that are slightly different, um, ones that have pages on that uh, you saw in, on new Nihars, and uh, we'll have a quick look at the planner as well. Um, but uh, it'll, it'll be, uh, the case that you you may want to uh, ask us emails uh, send us emails at the end of uh, uh, the discussion in if there is further things that you would you would like to learn so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to uh, the resources area now imagine uh, geography 101 actually needed a front page now there is a couple of ways of doing this uh, first of all on the left hand side, uh, you can see that there is a, a green button to add things into my resources. And I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add a page from here. And if I go on the add sign, these are all the things I can add to my room, but uh, crucially, I can add a page. So this could be my uh, welcome page. Uh, the advantage of this then is I have got somewhere that I can uh, introduce tasks and I can create a menu of learning. So if you didn't want to use the overview page, then this might be an alternative. It's super quick. All you do is add content blocks. Um, we have uh, five different kinds. The one you're going to use most are rich content ones. And these will allow you to do the majority of things on a page. Uh, you'll be able to move things about. So again, you can see that things are really super quick. And uh, the content blocks themselves, they all have this editor. And the editor will allow you to do whizzy things like, for instance, embed content, add a video of your own, record your voice, add, uh, add an image, uh, and links. So the content blocks themselves are, are very important. Um, the, the idea though is to show you actually uh, that things are uh, replicable because you don't necessarily want to do this uh, lots of times if you are teaching a very similar, similar course. So uh, just be aware that um, this particular course could be turned into a template. Another thing to be aware of is that we are going to start to support uh, users as well with content from the library. So I'm going to grab something from the library. I'm going to grab a, a secondary uh, staff room icons page just to show you what I mean. Now I have added this to the course and you'll see that it is already 
populated with icons and these icons can then be linked with items inside the content area the resource area so uh, just bear that in mind actually because you can use the the library itself to support all sorts of things put something in the library you'll be able to share it with all sorts of different groups so if you have content that needs to be regularly shared it's something to think about um, now the issue for me though is if I click onto Geography 101, you'll notice that it defaults back to the overview page. So if you wanted this particular page to go to, sorry, this particular course to land on uh, our menu page, if you like, then what we would do is go into the settings and the course properties and features. And this will allow us to set a course start page and actually this can be anything that is in the resources folder so it could be a folder it could be uh, a PowerPoint it could be a word document in this case we want a, a page so already we're starting to give you a few ideas of how we could use things for instance we know a lot of schools are using uh, things like OneNote so um, it could be the case that you have a, a link to a OneNote as your starting uh, starting point. But um, obviously we're trying to keep things simple as we can at the moment. So there we go. Our course now will link to uh, our icons. And uh, the last thing to show you really is that, again, it's super quick to, uh, to create um, uh, a, a template because actually if you go to courses and click on add um, I haven't actually turned this into a proper template but if I click on add I have got the option here to create an, a copy of an existing folder and that will copy everything it will copy all of the content all of the folders everything that's in resources the only thing that it will not do is it will not copy the users that are in the course so the last thing to show me is just to just to show you how to add users into the course but uh, you can see that it's very easy then to create templates as well that you can roll out on on a mass basis so going back to to my course geography 101 if i wanted to add some users into it i would find the participants menu it may be the case that you can see the participants menu here. Um, if not, it'll be in this drop down. Uh, so there's more menu. And so I click on participants. I can then click to add, and I can either add individuals, or if I know what the name of my class is, I can add its hierarchy. This also depends on you having uh, your class integrated on the system. So you would search for your class here. It would allow you to add that particular group and they would also be added to uh, added to this particular course. So uh, you uh, can see that very, very quickly, actually, I can create a course. Um, I can create uh, 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 some navigation for my students and I can add them in. Um, so the actual process of creating things on the platform is, is very easy. 